breaking Pokemon news. Pokemon has just officially announced their newest TCG expansion, Obsidian Flames, and oh my gosh, this set looks amazing. So to start off with, this set got announced, I guess by the time you're seeing this video, this will be Friday, it got announced Thursday, and I'll just start pulling up some shots here I have on my computer. But, so, Obsidian Flames, honestly, that logo is pretty, I think, out of the, the logos they've used for the pack arts so far, I think that one is my favorite. And, as you can see, front and center, we have a terrasalized Charizard. So, I, I mean, is there much other to say than just, this is clearly our first big Charizard set of Scarlet and Violet, and that's honestly super, super awesome. And just looking here, I guess we can go over the basic information of the set. So this set is going to, or is set to release on August 11th, 2023. So from now, when you're seeing this video, it is around the end of May. So we're looking about three or four months. I believe Paldea Evolved comes out in about two weeks now. So I'm assuming it'll be about two months after that, which I think that timeline makes sense. So this set, I guess we can just start reading into what it says here. So I've done a little bit of reading on this prior to doing this video so I know a little bit about it but we're going to kind of be exploring through this together to see what this is kind of about so red hot embers illuminate the pitch black night and sparks flare into an inferno as Charizard EX surges forth with newfound powers of darkness so uh, before actually you know what we'll, we'll talk about the dark Charizard first because that's that's kind of insane now Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the last time we have seen a Dark Charizard was in the Delta Species line, or I want to say it was the Delta Species line where it was actually a Dark Charizard. I might, now, I could be wrong, this might even be like the actual first time we've seen a Dark Charizard. I don't know off the top of my head, and please correct me in the comments below if I am wrong or missing something, but I guess, so Dark Terrasalized Charizard. So this is the first time they're also taking Terrasalized Pokemon and turning them into another type, which is, if you guys know from the actual Scarlet and Violet game, is a big mechanic of the Terrasalized that like a lot of these Pokemon get terrestrialized and they gain another typing on top of it like I guess uh, a pretty funny one is La LeChonk when he was terrestrialized through I think it was the April Fool's promotion through GameStop or whatever it was a flying terrestrialized uh, LeChonk which is kind of funny because he gained a flying type and he's a pig so that was you know what kind of gives an example of this so they're kind of uh, finally transitioning it over to the cards and if we read a little bit further onto this the glittering terrestrialized phen terrestrial phenomenon, excuse me, imbues some Pokemon EX like Tyranitar, Ice Q, and Vespaquin with different types than usual, while Dragonite EX, Green EX show their mastery of their own inner strengths. That's a lot to unpack. <laughs> That's a lot to unpack there. So, this clearly, in terms of a set, is going to be the most terrestrialized Pokemon I'm assuming we're getting, because I know in Paldea Evolved there's going to be a couple, like the Slowbro and the Dedenne, but I think that might be it for this set. And as it already sounds off, we already have four named immediately, so Tyranitar, Ice Q, Vespaquin, and obviously Charizard. Tyranitar, from what I've seen so far, looks like it might be Lightning type, which would be really, really cool, I'm not going to lie there. I have no clue what Ice Cube and Vespaquin will be, but Vespaquin is super awesome. We haven't gotten a good, good, good Vespaquin card in a long time, so I am completely okay with that. So, and then I guess we can quickly read through the rest of this blurb. So, not to be outdone by Reverum EX, Mel Metal EX, that's pretty cool, and Pokemon promised to change the course of the battle in Scarlet and Violet Obsidian Flames expansion. So, a lot of cool cards, a lot of prominent Pokemon are going to be coming to this set. And that's, that's kind of big, that's kind of big news. So, reading a little further into this, so it says over 190 cards, so I'm assuming the 190 means that's what's kind of in the base set of um, uh, an expansion. So if you guys are kind of unfamiliar with it, in like I guess like a binder or an expansion or an ETB handbook, kind of it'll lay out the set. So it'll eventually, it ends at the trainers. So it'll start saying like if a set's, in this case, instead of 190, the last trainer will be 190. And then from there on out is kind of the secret rares in this case, which I guess will include, I'm sure, a very cool terrestrialized Charizard card, which we actually did find a leak of a little bit ago, and I can actually show it off in this video too, a little bit, but yeah, so we're gonna get gold cards, alternate arts. They did say that there is, I believe in here, dozens of Pokemon and trainer cards with special illustrations. So that's super cool. So that'll be like our alternate art, Gardevoir, um, Spite Ops, um, all the other ones, Crydon, Maridon. It'll be similar to that for, I'm assuming, Charizard, Tyranitar, or Ice Q, or any of those EX cards, I'm assuming is what we're kind of gonna be getting or expecting. And also some of like the, uh, the trainer gallery style cards similar to, I guess, King Gambit from Scarlet and Violet Base, but I'm trying to see if there's anything else here we missed. More than 15 trainer cards, that's pretty cool. I guess if you play the TCG, more or less, that's pretty important to you, 
But I think that's it for what Pokemon offers in details here. So I guess what we can next check out is actually some of the items they announced. So, whew, good amount of stuff on here. So we have the booster box, the pack arts, and the booster bundle, and then the elite trainer box. I don't think I doubled up anything. The main thing I think is kind of cool. I guess let's check out let's check out the obsidian flames. Uh, sleeve booster so we can see the pack art maybe a little bit closer. Oh, look at that. Okay, so yeah, I'm... Oh, that is, that is actually super, super cool. So, okay, so... Oh, so it is going to be a Terrasalized Dragonite. If you guys can see down there, that that is actually a Terrasalized Dragonite. And then Rivera Room, Rever Room is on the other pack art. So it's three Terrasalized and then Rivera Room. So, Rever Room, Rivera Room. You, you get what I'm saying. But... So obviously Dark Charizard, I'm assuming that's Electric type T-Tar. I didn't actually play Scarlet and Violet, so I don't know the actual typings on the actual like per terrestrialized what typically would we expect, what we would typically expect in uh, in that. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm gonna put my money on Electric type T-Tar because I know that the um, the paradox form of T-Tar is also, I believe it is metal and electric type because it's kind of a robot, but. And then Dragonite is Terrasalized too, and I'm assuming that is flying, because I can kind of see the wings above his head, so I'm assuming that would make sense with what they said in the uh, actual description that he's going to enhance in his own strength, so it wouldn't be an actual a, uh, a type change, to say the least. But, I guess we can move on to the other cool thing, which, I mean, we've seen the pack arts, the booster box, and the build and battle box, or, actually, this is the booster bundle, are pretty much the same. There's nothing too crazy to look at there. The cool one is the ETB, and that is because... We are, I don't know if we can actually see it on here, but I will quickly go through to find it. So yeah, I was looking for a little more on the ETB and it actually appears that Pokemon has been kind of trying to hide this promo. So I guess we'll show it off because it's not showing up for me on their website. So if you can see right there, it is actually a Charmander promo, which I mean, that fits perfectly with the ETB. Of course, Charmander Charizard as the figurehead Pokemon of the set. So I mean, that promo is pretty cool. Him kind of looking out a window at what appears to be a Pidgey out there. And that is pretty cool. And I did already pre-order the Pokemon Center one, which is going to come with two of those promos, both of which are the same, except the Pokemon Center one has a little stamp on it. But the other thing that I meant to show you a little earlier that now I found a little bit ago and I wasn't too sure about and I wasn't going to mention anything about was this right here. Now I apologize because the images are going to be pretty grainy and low quality, but right here is a leak of what the golden terrestrialized Charizard is going to look like. So this card is actually in French, I believe, from the little French I do know. But, yeah, so this is the Golden Charizard Terrasalize card that we are going to expect in um, Obsidian Flames. So, I mean, taking a look at it, it is super cool. I mean, the moveset on it is not really my forte, but it looks like, I mean, something that is a little interesting to me. So it's dark type, but it's going to take, um, it's going to take fire energy, which is kind of neat. So I guess, I don't know if that's going to have a double weakness in effect or a double typing, but I mean, that's something for you guys to find out when I guess these cards actually come to circulation for the TCG. But, I mean, just looking at it from a face value, the card looks incredible. I don't think we've gotten a gold Charizard card in a very long time. I don't think we got one um, in... Yeah, no, Brilliant Stars didn't have a golden Charizard. It had a golden Arceus and then the three birds. So, other than that, I think we haven't gotten a golden Charizard yet. Ever? Potentially? I mean, yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my Nate Collect stamp of potentially approval on that, that I think this is the first golden Charizard we've gotten. For sure, the first golden Charizard EX, I think. Kind of, maybe. I I, I know the one from Evolutions is a gold border, if you want to count that, but uh, looking at it right now, this is pretty awesome. You know, I, the Terrasalized cards look really, really nice. They're going to have texture on them, which is a great plus in my book. And just looking at it, I'm assuming, similar to like the other Terrasalized cards, this card will also be available. I say available, but you'll be able to pull it in also like kind of a similar one to the Arcanine or the Gyarados from Scarlet and Violet base set. It'll look similar to that with kind of just a plain colored background and then the Pokemon at the forefront, obviously. The Terrasalized headpiece looks super, super cool. I mean, the gem pattern in general, I think on all the Terrasalized Pokemon look really, really good. So I am super excited to hunt for that one. And I mean... Charizard cards are usually uh, are usually pretty pricey, so we'll be uh, it'll be interesting to see what these ones end up going for when people start to pull them and the set comes out. But overall, going back to I guess the main page here, just taking a look at it one more time, I'm I'm super excited for the set to come out. I think this will be really really cool. I think 
getting Charizard cards in e the EX form again, because I did start off in kind of the XY generation and that was the main typing. It's a little bit different now, I know that, but overall I am very excited to start seeing these cards come August 11th, you know, the first place you're going to see to open them up is going to be Nate Collects, I promise that. So, yeah, stay tuned, I guess. I mean, we do have another set that's going to be coming out before this, which is going to be Paldea Evolve, which, trust me, that's going to be coming out very, very soon. But, I mean, look forward. We got the next one on the horizon already, guys. But, yeah, I just wanted to inform you guys we could take a look at this. Uh, I'm sure a set list will probably get leaked pretty soon. That tends to happen with these Pokemon ones. But... Overall, I think this set's going to be very, very cool. I'm very excited for it, and I look forward to August 11th. But anyways, if you did like checking out the new set, Pokemon Obsidian Flame, let me know in the comments below what card you're most excited for in this set. And uh, definitely, if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.